We already did a Arctic lineup explained video. However, that one was only focusing on what I called their main lineup, the P12, the F12 and the P12 ARGB. By the way, go watch that video first if, if you haven't already, otherwise half of what I'm saying doesn't make a lot of sense. But guess what? There are more Arctic fans than just P's and F's. Exactly, steroid-induced P's and steroid-induced F's. Meet the next and the last of Arctic's lineup part of this series, the Bionics fans. But in contrast to the shit show that is an Arctic's regular lineup, these new Bionics fans are pretty damn simple to explain. There is an Bionics P120, a Bionics F120, and a Bionics P120 ARGB. That's, that's really it, basically the whole lineup is, is sitting here. That's, it's really easy. But the simplicity did not come at a huge cost. Similar to the P12 and F12 PVM PST, those Bionic fans are coming with the same 4-pin PVM connection with the additional daisy chain plug. Good, very good, very good job Optic. The only exception to this would be the Bionics P120 ARGB. Now I don't want to get into, into the installation method, there is a dedicated review for that. Just know that everything is controllable over PVM and ARGB, but there is a physical controller involved in all of this, or adapters. Which can be annoying, but that's the case. So these are our new additions for today. The Bionics P120, the Bionics F120 and the Bionics P120 ARGB. Ignoring the fact that P and F have definitely the same meaning as they had in the regular lineup, what does Bionics actually stand for? Well, first off, there is no official explanation. That was pretty easy. Maybe some weird wordplay with bio-optimized or, you know, biohacking, biotech, bio-whatever. Uh, but the difference can be boiled down to basically two things. First would be the frame of the fan. Instead of some regular plastic, which is stiff and rigid, the Bionics fans come with close to no frame, but a hell lot of rubber. Although this definitely acts like an anti-vibration insulator, it can also act uh, as a fun thing to play with while the fan is running. It is also the rubber which can be configured in different colors. Right now we have red, white, black and grey options still available, but back in the day we had yellow, we had green if I remember correctly. And although they are not officially, you know, being sold anymore, they can still pop up on Amazon or on whatever retailer, so if you can grab one, you can be happy. The whole rubber thing does not apply on the ARGB version though. Instead of some rubber, Arctic decided to go full plastic on this one, and I'm not even joking. Not only is the whole damn thing built like a brick, Arctic also decided to make the frame 5mm thicker, giving it some extra rigidness and making it very hard for me to mount it on a radiator or heatsink. Thank you Arctic. But keep in mind that this is not a Fantex T30 approach. Contrary to that, on the Bionics P120 ARGB, it's only the frame that got an extra bit of, of, of hammer treatment. No performance to really be gained from here. The second big change from regular P's or F's to Bionics P's or F's is a whole ton of whey, steroids and cocaine. Although the wing areas are looking exactly like the regular counterpart, each of these fans is like the small one but on a freaking tantrum. For the F series, we went from 1350 RPM up to 1800 RPM at 69 CFM at 2.1 mm of H2O. For the P series, we went from 1800 to 2100 RPM at 57.5 CFM and 2.75 mm of H2O. And for the ARGB series, we went from 2000 RPM to 2300 RPM at 48 CFM at 2.1 mm of H2O. But before you might believe that each of these is just like a regular one but with a bit of extra performance at the end, it is not the case. There are many tiny differences between regular and Bionics fans that are not allowing to streamline anything between these fans. The best place to see that is on their PQ curve. These here are the PQ curves for all of Arctic's fans. And how it works with these curves is that you would draw the max fan speed line. And if you want to know how they perform with reduced fan speeds, you can just scale the whole thing down towards the 0, zero point. And if you would now take an F12 graph and then enlarge it to fit into an F120 Bionics, yeah, you can do that. So no, a Bionics and a regular fan are not directly comparable to each other and we need to put them through the same level of rigorous testing that we did before. Yeah, 
Yay, more bank shots. So let's do that. Starting off with the best rated FM. Although I fully expected the P120 to dominate this round, it was not the case. In both max performance, but also over the whole spectrum of noise to performance, neither the P120 Bionics nor P120 Bionics ARGB came even close to either a regular P12 or P12 ARGB. A incredibly odd result, which is absolutely not in line with what the PQ curse actually suggested. The next test was heatsink test. And again, although the difference is a lot smaller, the regular P12 is still battling the P12 ARGB and Bionics P120 models are just a bit behind at every step of the way. And the F120 is setting a new record for loneliness. And the last test is finally the interesting one. Which one of these is the best case fan? Here we finally saw some domination of a Bionics pen, with the P120 being superior in the very high and very low numbers and the P120 ARGB dominating the space in between. This round finally goes to the Bionics fans, except for the F120, that one is just utterly lost. It's like there is a, a, a clear pattern for those F-type fans. Overall, the Bionics lineup is incredibly difficult to fit into the whole picture. While it's very clear that the P120s are the Radiant and Heatsink fan, the, the F120 is again the Nothing fan, as, as both other ones are, you know, a lot better at basically everything. The only exception for all of this is a very short segment of the heatsink fan curve, where the F120 is capable of, of keeping the CPU one degree cooler, but, but look at the price that it took. But it's not the fact that 120mm F fans are useless, we are, we are used by that now, those are clearly not outperforming the regular lineup as much as they should have been if you look at the stats. While it's true that on some occasions the Bionics P120s and F120 are outperforming the regular P and F12 lineup, the vast majority of the noise to performance spectrum is still utterly dominated by the simple fan. And this also applies to the best fans to use spot. The best radiator fan is still a P12. The best heatsink fan is still either a P12 or P12 ARGB and it's only on the case fan scenario where we can see that the winning position will be shared by a P120 or a P120 ARGB. Very interesting, but that's basically Arctic's complete 120mm fan lineup explained. I hope it was interesting to you or that you found what you were looking for, but if you want to keep watching, have a look at our Noxia Explained series. That's also very interesting, but it's, it's quite a lot longer. And if not, you can always join our Discord server and start sharing the trash you have lying around on your desktop. Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.